guys. Today I'm going to show you how to make this um, two-dimensional version of a Greek pot. So this obviously isn't a real pot, it's flat, it's paper, but it's a two-dimensional design inspired by ancient Greek pottery. So this is what I'm going to show you guys how to make today. All right, let's get started. Okay, so to make your pot, you're going to need to start with scissors, a pencil, and a piece of um, some kind of brown craft paper. This is actually just half of a shopping bag. Um, so I cut out a flat area of it, and you're going to use just the side with no print. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to fold it in half. It already has quite a few folds in it, so I'm just going to go ahead and use one of the pre-existing folds, or you can just make a new fold. I'm going to fold it in half, and then from the fold, I'm going to draw half of my vase. All right, so there's half my vase. Then you're just going to start the fold and you're gonna cut through both layers of paper, following your design. And you wanna make sure not, I almost cut off my handle. Do not cut off your handle, you need to turn and follow around. So those are scraps. So you can see I've cut through both layers. There's the shape of my base except for my handle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this back up. I need to go ahead and cut out that negative space in my handle. So I'm just going to pinch both layers to make a little snip. And I can insert my scissors into that hole. When you open it up, you should have the shape of your vase. Now, if you don't like it, you can always fold it back up, draw some more, change it a little bit, and then cut more of it out. I'm gonna probably leave my vase just like this because it's a nice big surface area to do a really cool design across it. Okay, so to give our vase a little bit more of a 3D effect, we're gonna go ahead and paint it just a little bit um, to make it look like it has a highlighted side and a side in shadow. So I just have some tempera cakes um, and a water cup and a paintbrush. Of course, watercolor would also work. So I'm gonna start with some yellow my yellow is a little bit dirty, but hopefully we'll be able to get a nice clean yellow. And I'm going to make this side, the highlighted side, kind of the top and then over to this side and then the bottom and then the right side kind of more the shadowy area. So I'm just going to take some of my yellow. So I'm going to kind of spread my highlight all the way along this top area because all of that would be catching light from up above. And to make a really bright highlight, you could even use a little bit of white to just really lighten up that top area. And I'm really trying to keep my paint pretty wet and let them kind of blend together. All 
I actually kind of want to make an orangey reddish brown. So you can use some red. on a paint palette. I'm gonna add a little bit of orange to it to make it a reddish orange. And then to brown something out, you just add its complement since I don't have a brown here. So the complement to red is green, the complement to orange is blue. So I just need to add a little hint of blue green into this. to kind of make it a little bit more brown. I want it to stay a pretty reddish brown, but to make it look like that red Greek pottery, it needs to be not quite just a bright red. So there's a pretty good brown. I'm gonna go ahead and add some more red to it. And of course, if you add too much you just go back and get some of what you need to dole it back out again. That's a pretty good reddish brown. So this is going to be kind of like my base color for the majority of my pot with some of those yellow highlights kind of blended in up top and then some darker shadows that we'll add down low here in a minute. So I'm going to give this main area kind of this reddish brown overall coat. And you can see that your color that you mix runs out really quickly. Your paper just soaks it up. So if you don't want to have to keep making more, the key is to make a whole bunch at once, which I did not do. So again, this is my kind of base color. It should look like the color of Greek pottery, which is that nice, rich, reddish, brownish, orange color that I'm kind of letting blend with some highlights, some yellow highlights up here. And then it's gonna blend again down here with some shadows. So we'll make some more black, brown and then even go into some black for the shadows. So as we get down here towards the area that's gonna be in the most shadow, we could go ahead and make a darker version of this color. Give it more of that brownish color. And we can go ahead and brown this up a little bit more since it's gonna be the shadow. Bring it to more of a true brown. So we're using this dark for kind of this side of the pot. The bottom area which would be pretty much completely in shadow. And then to really give it a full shadow, we can even go ahead and add a little bit of black here along the bottom, a little bit of black underneath the belly of this bowl. Maybe a little bit of black going along the bottom of that handle. A little bit of dark underneath that lip. So you just gotta kind of go through and figure out what areas would be the darkest, getting the least amount of light, and what areas would be the lightest up here, getting the most amount of light. And that kind of gives it a little bit more of a three-dimensional look. Now it's a little uneven and splotchy right now, but as it dries, that's gonna give it a really nice, kind of more realistic coloring than just one flat color. All right, so now that our pot is dry, 
we can start drawing our design on it. So I suggest you just start with a pencil. And I like to start at the top and bottom doing a more traditional Greek geometric design. And remember, you're going to be Next, you're going to trace all of your pencil design, design with Sharpie. Next, decide what parts of your design you want to color completely black. You can use a Sharpie or paint. Next, you need to draw your Greek image here, whether that's an image from mythology um, or Greek history or an iconic Greek figure. That's what you would put here. So go ahead and draw that. Next, you trace your design completely with Sharpie. Remember, you can also use a fine point sharpie for details. All right, that's it. I really hope you enjoyed making your Greek pottery style two-dimensional work of art. I had a lot of fun making this. Obviously, you could take this and mount this on a piece of white paper. You could even emphasize the highlights and the shadows by adding some shadow underneath this on a white piece of paper to make it look like it's actually sitting and casting a shadow. Um, you could even create a two-dimensional pedestal um, in the Greek style to display this on if you wanted to. But that's it for how to actually create it. So I hope you learned a lot and enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.